Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got an interesting video, something that I've been wanting to do since I purchased the uh, aftermarket wheels and tires. If you follow the channel, you know that I've recently uh, purchased a set of Boston wheels and uh, Nanking tires for my road course events. And um, I'm curious, those, those wheels and tires, I know they're heavier than the stock uh, setup, but I'm curious how much heavier they are and does it affect my zero to 60 time or quarter mile time? So. Uh, that's what today's video is about. I'm going to be taking my current setup, the aftermarket wheels, doing three test hits, uh, getting the best run out of those three, and then swapping to my factory wheels and tires, and or at least the factory wheels anyway. I think they might, I don't know if they're the factory tires that came on the car or what, but um, I'll be swapping to those, do three more hits, and then uh, take the best one out of that, see what the differences are, if there is any difference at all. So. Uh, stay tuned. We'll find out. Yeah, and if you guys forgot, uh, this is the current wheel and tire that I have on there. Uh, so again, it's the Nankang uh, CRS Sport Next 2 tire, um, and it's in a 285. Here, let me get that for you. 285, 30, 20. And the factory ones are uh, 275 30 20s. So a little bit wider tire. And uh, the wheel is wider as well. This is a 10 and a half inch wheel where the other ones are a, a nine inch wide wheel. Uh, they're both 20s obviously, but um, you know, this is a wider wheel. So it's, it's probably gonna be a good bit heavier, I imagine. But we'll weigh them up and we'll see what the differences are. All right guys, so we got the new Draggy. Gonna be trying this thing out. Um, I mean, it looks pretty, pretty simple. Just get this, uh, one little unit here. Just, it's got a magnetic base, I guess. And, um, it's supposed to come with some sticky pads. Oh yeah, here's a charging cord. And yeah, these are metal pads or strips they come with, with, uh, adhesive back or adhesive backing on them so you can stick them somewhere if you want and then the instructions so i've already downloaded the app uh just got to pair this thing up and then uh we'll be able to make some runs i think and just test it out see how this goes We just got done with our uh, run with the Boston wheels on it. So now it's time to change out to the stock wheels. Uh, got one of these here. So this is what we're looking at. It's the uh, 20 by nine. So they're actually fairly light and it is on a, it's got uh, 275, 30, 20, uh, hand cooks on it. Uh, hand cook Ventus S1 Evo 2. So they're, I don't know, they've got, uh, they're almost down to the wear bars. They're not quite, not quite ready to change out, but, um, you know, they still got some good life on them. So they're probably not going to be as sticky as the uh, CRS tires, obviously, but um, I'm wondering if they'll weight's gonna make a difference so let's get these swapped out all right guys don't laugh at my ghetto scale here but this is the one uh, the only one I got so we're gonna do some weigh in real quick Let's see what these things come out to be so almost 55 pounds so 54.8 all 
All right, let's see how much these honkers weigh. 61.2. So 61.2 pounds plus these things have I had to run spacers with these as well, so I guess I could, you know, include these in the weight. Let's see how much that weighs. So 61.8. That's total weight. All right, let's get them all swapped out. swapped out it is hot today muggy really muggy anyway we got them all swapped out these things what if my math is right they're about um what, seven pounds lighter each somewhere around there so we're gonna make another few hits and see what it does just got done running our um, three test hits with the factory wheels on it uh, surprisingly enough it actually did help um, I mean I, I didn't think it'd make that big of a difference you know I mean, it's not dramatic mind you but um, you know it's only 25 pounds that we're shaving here but I guess it's rotational or rotating mass that we're eliminating so maybe it plays a little bit more of a factor being, you know, what it is. Um, so anyway, the, the data is showing that I just did, or the, uh, the three runs that I just did, um, I did them back to back. So it, the first run typically is the fastest one, uh, you know, cause the, the car starts getting heat soaked. Um, the first run I ended up running an 11, seven, seven. Uh, in the quarter mile so um, that was my fastest run and the next two runs were 11 8 both of them I think 11 8 5 was one and then 11 8 9 so not dramatically quicker I mean every little bit helps I guess but uh, you're not talking about a whole lot you know it's just a, a half a tenth quicker but um, with the heavier wheels and tires the Boston's uh, I ended up running an 11.83, followed up by two 11.9s. But uh, they did actually help. Uh, the lighter weight wheels and tires, that's what I'm going to be running at the drag strip. I'm going up to uh, Z-Max Dragway uh, to run a uh, streetcar takeover again. So I've entered into 11.0 index this time around. I do have something coming that's uh, hopefully going to help me out with that because, you know, the 11.8 is not going to be, or 11.7 isn't going to be uh, competitive in that class, I don't think, but I do have a 034 Motorsports tune that's coming. Uh, it's on its way and a intake uh, from 034 Motorsports, so I'll be installing those here soon and then testing that out, and I'm going to do some more uh, test hits after the tune just to, to see what that actually does. So stay tuned for that, and we will catch you on the next one.